Greetings, my fellow Inquisitors, and welcome back to another Warhammer 40k lore video dealing with the workings of the Imperial Inquisition. Today, we will be continuing with the detailed exposure of the Big Three Ordos, and since we already talked about the Ordo Malleus, the Ordo Xenos will take the spotlight today. In this video, I would like to cover a few general things about this branch, its history and its role. I said for the Ordo Malleus, but I will say it here too. Do not worry if I don't cover their chamber militant today, because the Grey Knights, or in this case the Death Watch, will get their own set of videos in due time. Those being said, I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about the Alien Hunters, shall we? The Ordo Xenos, together with the Ordo Malleus and the Ordo Hereticus, is one of the primary subdivisions of the powerful and secretive organization known as the Imperial Inquisition. The Ordo Xenos is served by its own chamber militant, the Death Watch Space Marines, who draw on veteran Astartes from chapters across the Imperium to form the Death Watch's kill teams and destroy the many foul Xenos threats to the survival of mankind. Armed with the best human and alien technology available, extremely knowledgeable about their foe, and filled with the xenophobic threat for non-human species that drives so much of Imperial culture, the Ordo Xenos can respond to any threat. Or so they like to think. Their tactics vary depending on the situation and the level of alien taint revealed. Where the threat is subtle, they will use guile and stealth, wielding their power as if it was a scalpel used to cut out a growing cancer. When the alien menace is great, the Inquisitor can commandeer the aid of entire regiments of the Imperial Guard and the Death Watch itself. The Ordo Xenos was created after the Emperor of Mankind was interred in the Golden Throne at the end of the Horus Heresy, though in fact the Inquisition had been founded earlier in the 31st millennium at the express order of the Emperor himself, after the Great Treachery of Horus. The Inquisition was initially a relatively small and highly secretive organization, comprising only a group of skilled Imperial agents drawn from all the Imperial Adepta and nobility, as well as select Loyalist Space Marines from both the Loyalist and the Loyal survivors of the Traitor Legions. These folks were tasked with uncovering and destroying every threat to the Imperium, from both within and without. After the Horus Heresy, the Ordo Xenos gradually evolved from that group of Inquisitors who were primarily interested in investigating and studying the alien races of the Milky Way galaxy and eliminating any threat to the Imperium that these Xenos might represent. The Inquisitors of the Ordo Xenos accept responsibility for protecting humanity from the predations of the alien. To most of the Imperium, the alien is an abomination a heathen who desires humanity's downfall and who must be slain for the good of mankind. Most Inquisitors share this view and pursue the alien to the point of extinction if they can. Some aliens are a threat to the Imperium in a military sense, invading large portions of Imperial space, ransacking planets and killing or enslaving the inhabitants. The green-skinned rampaging orcs and the voracious tyranids are chief among these large-scale threats. The Imperial Guard and the Imperial Navy are the main weapons against these hordes, and the Imperium's war zones are constantly ablaze with battles against them. The Ordo Xenos is instrumental in leading the Imperium's military forces against major Xenos invasions, gathering intelligence and deploying troops. An Inquisitor in this position makes decisions which can cost millions of lives, and he or she must be prepared to go further than even the most hard-hearted Imperial commander in stemming the alien tide. Some of the Ordo Xenos' greatest Inquisitors, such as the legendary Inquisitor Cryptmon, have sacrificed entire worlds to deny them to the alien foe. Because if we can't have them, no one can. 
as well as having the capacity to command the Imperium's forces, the Ordo Xenos also have access to the Ordo's chamber militant, the Death Watch Space Marines. The Death Watch is an unusual Space Marine chapter that draws its members from other chapters of the Adeptus Astartes, with Astartes serving in the Death Watch for a set period of time before returning to their home chapter. Most Space Marine chapters are a part of this ancient agreement, sending Space Marines with the most appropriate skills to be trained and equipped for a term of service as specialized alien hunters under the command of the Ordo Xenos. A kill team of Death Watch Space Marines is invaluable when an Inquisitor comes to exterminate an alien infestation, investigate a potentially deadly alien world, or eliminate a particularly hated alien creature. Some squads of the Death Watch are placed at the disposal of an entire Inquisitorial Conclave dedicated to the protection of a single Imperial Sector but most of them are appointed to the retinue of a particular Inquisitor until his or her mission is complete. While many Ordo Xenos Inquisitors believe that all aliens must be killed, this is not true for all of them. Some believe that if an alien species does not wish the Imperium harm and does not move against the Imperial interest, then cooperating with them is not so bad. Some aliens possess technology that far surpasses the Imperium's own, such as the elegant digital weapons made by the ape-like Jokero, and trading for such technology can be to the Imperium's benefit. Furthermore, the Imperium shares common enemies with some species, and alliances between Imperial and alien forces are sometimes a necessity. Some Ordo Xenos Inquisitors actively foster these alliances, believing that their superior knowledge of alien methods and mindsets negates the risk of collaborating with Xenos. These beliefs are considered radical among the Ordo Xenos, and their adherents can be shunned or even hunted down by their fellow Inquisitors. Nevertheless, the contact an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor has with alien species can impart a belief that some of them can be used and not just destroyed by the Imperium. The primary remit of the Ordo Xenos is to defend the Imperium against the threat of the alien, a duty that goes far beyond merely confronting non-human creatures in open conflict along the Imperial Guard and Astartes. In order to oppose the Xenos threat, the Ordo Xenos must undertake the dangerous task of investigating and studying alien races with a mind to destroying any that is deemed to be a threat to the Imperium. It must learn the nature of its inhuman foes, seek out their weakness and learn how to counter their strength. More than this, it must be ever watchful, not only against what lies in the void beyond, but against other, often more subtle and insidious threats that arise much closer to home. Such threats are often posed by renegade humans, some corrupt, others merely taking advantage. Such individuals are known to trade in alien technology or seek to hide alien species within the Imperium's midst, often for the purposes of experiments, profit, or bloody entertainment. Many of the Ordo Xenos' operations are not focused outward, but inward on the Imperium itself, and with good cause. The Ordo's records are filled with bloody atrocities and vast loss of life that have resulted where the alien has taken hold of an Imperial world via stealth, infiltration, or slow taint as well as many incidents where the influence of alien technology, misunderstood artifacts, and Xeno's lore have resulted in unintended disaster and tragic consequence. Within the Calixis sector, the job of the Ordo Xenos is a particularly complex and difficult one. This challenge is in no small part because the sector itself lies on the very edge of the Imperium. It is a borderland flanked for much of its perimeter by the uncharted void of space beyond the Emperor's light. No complete or even meaningful control can be kept over this vast open border, and human and alien vessels can pass largely unobserved and unchallenged 
despite the best efforts of the battle fleet Calixus and the Imperial listening stations. This dark horizon is crossed regularly by rogue traders. The explorator fleets of the Adeptus Mechanicus and even by smaller independent merchants and prospecting vessels quite legitimately. Where such legal traffic ends and outlaw traffic, like smugglers, renegades or pirates, begins is often a blurred line. Each one of these is a vector, a means by which the alien and alien influences can flow like poison into the Imperium's vein, and the eyes of the Ordo Xenos, despite what they'd like you to believe, cannot be everywhere at once. Although all aliens are officially viewed as anathema by the Imperium, some are tolerated to a lesser degree. Such races tend to be primitive in technology or culture, or constrained to a backwater planet far from Imperial space. In many parts of the Imperium, contact with starfaring alien races is not uncommon, and on some frontier worlds, trading with aliens is a fact of life. Such dealings are usually overlooked by the authorities, and would certainly not warrant intervention. Other races, however, represent such a threat to humanity that the Ordo Xenos has branded them with a stigma called the Xenos Horrificus, marking them as a high-priority target who must be hunted down and purged on every occasion. The brand does not merely apply to the Xenos themselves, but also to any who have dealings with them. More than one rogue trader has been branded with the Xenos Horrificus, marking him out as an enemy of the Ordo Xenos, the Death Watch, and humanity itself. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you regarding the Ordo Xenos for today. I will, of course, do another separate video covering famous inquisitors of the Ordo Xenos. Do you find the duties of this Inquisition branch appealing, or do you prefer one of the other Ordos? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to click the like button and consider subscribing for future content. I thank you very much for watching and wish you all a pleasant day. The Emperor Protects.